Hello there. Let's take a look at the weather across Europe and it's certainly been a pretty unsettled start to spring. We've got low pressure once again moving in from the Atlantic. You can see on the satellite this swirl of cloud, this large area of low pressure moving into western parts of Europe. Further east, another area of low pressure that's brought some heavy rain and hill snow over recent days, heading its way eastwards on Monday. So it'll be parts of Finland, Lithuania, in towards the west of Russia as well that we'll see the wet and the windy weather with rain and hill snow. And the remnants of that front stretching down into Turkey, so some hill snow here. But I think towards the west of Turkey for Greece into Italy, an improvement in the weather. So high pressure building here. But for Portugal and Spain, things turning unsettled once again with the winds picking up from the west, outbreaks of rain and some snow around too. For the UK and France, it's a windy, breezy day with rain and hill snow for the UK as well and further outbreaks of snow across parts of Scandinavia as well. For Tuesday, we've still got this big area of low pressure bringing wet and windy weather in the west. More snow to come across the Alps. Across eastern parts of Europe, though, the weather is starting to settle down a little bit as we look towards the middle part of the week. So here's the outlook for some of the major cities over the next five days and showers gradually clearing away from London, Paris and from Rome and also an improvement in the weather for Madrid, but we could see one or two showers continuing later in the week. Berlin will be warming up and sunshine returns. Bye-bye. Hello there. As we head into the beginning of April, let's take a look at the weather across North America. And it's not as cold as it has been across central parts of Canada, although temperatures are still on the cool side for the time of year. But the south, you can see on the satellite image, this frontal system, which will be slowly clearing its way away from Florida. So showers easing from this part of the world. For these central states, we've got a few snow showers through the central plains and for the Rockies too, with the air coming in from a northwesterly direction. So temperatures in Winnipeg at around minus one on Sunday. So not as cold as it was yesterday, but still about 10 Celsius below typical for the time of year. Now across British Columbia we could see a few wintry flurries at times, particularly over the mountains and that story continues down into Washington State and Oregon too. Much of California does look dry although there's a fair amount of cloud at times affecting Los Angeles. So here's the outlook over the next few days for the major cities in the west and we could see a few showers at times for Vancouver. San Francisco looks largely dry with some spells of sunshine. A mild day to come in New York should be largely dry, a bit of sunshine. Meanwhile a little bit further west we've got that frontal system so it could bring a few showers to Nashville for instance and further south down across Florida just the remnants of an old front bringing one or two showers to Orlando but here's the outlook in the east then a few showers and a bit of a dip in the temperature for Montreal and for New York. Bye for now. Hello there, let's take a look at the weather across Central and South America. And we'll start with the satellite image across the continent of South America. You can see where we've had the cloud and the recent showers across Central and Northern parts of Argentina. There's some showery rain and also further north for Western Brazil. Those heavy showers also extending further north across the continent into Northern Peru, Ecuador and Colombia. So here there could well be heavy downpours and that risk of some localised flooding as well. Meanwhile, as we make our way further into central and eastern parts of Brazil, the weather is looking much drier here over the next few days for the likes of Recife down towards Rio de Janeiro. Heavier showers further south for the far south of Brazil and across the border into Uruguay. A few also for central Chile and central Argentina. But towards the south of Chile, rainfall totals really mounting up. There could be up to 200 millimetres to the far south of Chile over the next three or four days. Here's the outlook for the next five days for some of the major cities. You can see Lima looking dry with some sunny spells, but rain at times in Bogota. Much of Mexico is sunny and dry, but you can see a few showers in the south. That's the remnants of an old front sitting across the Gulf of Mexico. It's also going to be draped into parts of Cuba and Jamaica, bringing a few light showers here, one or two also cropping up across Hispaniola as well. Temperatures pretty average really for the time of year, so a lot of fine weather for the Caribbean. Just a bit of mistiness, I think, at times in Havana through the middle of the week. Bye-bye. Hello there. The hot and the dry weather that we've seen across many eastern parts of China will be slowly easing as we head through this week with some cooler and more showery weather on the cards. Further south, we've had some heavy showers across parts of Sumatra and Sulawesi as well. You can see the cloud on the satellite image here and we'll continue to see some heavy bursts of rain through central Indonesia. But let's start off where we've got that heat 
Beijing on Monday at around 28 Celsius, well above average for this time of year, but it will turn cooler later in the week. Also dry and warm for South Korea and southern Japan too, but a few heavy showers starting to break out down the east coast of China and some heavy showers and thunderstorms developing around the Gulf of Thailand on Monday too, with Java, Sumatra, Borneo and Sulawesi all seeing heavy showers and thunderstorms. Now in Osaka, it's turning a little bit cooler than it has been. A similar picture in Beijing as temperatures return to quite typical of the March average as we head now into April when things should be starting to warm up. Now, ex-tropical cyclone Iris is still close to the coast of Queensland. It may re-intensify, potentially reforming into a tropical cyclone. Nonetheless, it's going to bring very heavy rain and some damaging winds to the north of Brisbane around that Queensland coast. New Zealand sees a few showers pushing across the South Island, particularly around the west here, but the North Island stays dry with highs in Auckland of 21 degrees. Now here's the outlook for the next five days and most of our major cities still looking fine and settled. Bye for now. Hello there. The weather is still pretty hot and dry across many northwestern parts of India, whereas towards the east we've got more showers around. We'll start with the satellite image. It shows we've had patchy areas of cloud across eastern and northeastern parts of India that have already been producing some heavy showers. And as we head over the next 24 hours or so, that story continues. The showers are easing for a time overnight, Sunday night, but during Monday with the daytime heating, those showers get going again. So some heavy ones for parts of Andhra Pradesh, Orissa on Monday too, and further south we could see a few showers showers forming down towards Kerala and for Sri Lanka as well. But further north then, heading our way northwesters into central parts of Asia. Astana, minus one degrees, a lot of dry weather across much of Kazakhstan, Turkmenistan as well. A few showers over the mountains of Kyrgyzstan and Afghanistan and northern Pakistan. Southern Pakistan into the northwest of India, still pretty hot, but not as hot as it was last week. In fact, most places below 40 degrees. Heading our way south down the west coast, a few showers for Goa, Kerala, and also towards Mali and Sri Lanka, we could catch a passing shower. Some of the showers pretty heavy with some big thunderstorms and large hail for parts of Orissa, Andhra Pradesh and West Bengal as well. Now Mumbai keeps the sunshine over the next five days. That sunshine in Colombo will be interrupted by a few sharp showers at times. And in Tashkent, it's a fairly showery outlook, but we've got some hot and dry weather through the middle of the week. Bye bye. Hello there. Let's take a look at the weather across Africa and the Middle East now. We'll start with the broad picture across Africa and you can see the satellite image here. This line of cloud that's been stretching up towards Algeria has been producing some fairly breezy conditions over the past few days, but it will be easing away. The winds here easing, not such dusty conditions across parts of West Africa compared to what we've seen over recent days. Heavy downpours of showery rain around the Gulf of Guinea stretching towards the Gulf of Aden as well. And across South Africa, it's an east-west split, mostly dry towards the west, but some heavy spells of rain in the east. Cape Town does look dry, though, over the next five days or so. Plenty of sunshine in store for Dakar, but some showers at times for Johannesburg and also for Nairobi over the next couple of days as well. Meanwhile, Khartoum looking hot and dry, 40 Celsius by the time we get to Wednesday. Heavy showers and perhaps some thunderstorms in Kinshasa as we look towards the week ahead. Now onto the Middle East. And temperatures on the rise across the Levant on Monday, heading into central Saudi Arabia. You can see one or two showers cropping up through the course of the day. Sunshine, though, extending across the Gulf up towards Iran and towards much of Oman, too. Bit of a shamal breeze tending to pick up later in the day, blowing in from a northwesterly direction. But sunnier skies for much of Iraq and Iran, too. Now, Muscat could catch a shower through the middle part of the week. Things, though, looking dry and hot in Dubai. Bye bye.